when I'm trying to do this? <laughs> hang on a minute, hang on. <laughs> So it's, it'll be good, it'll be good, it's all okay. right. Just, I'm just trying to, oh gosh, you can't, you, I wish you'd got here five minutes later. I'm not ready! <laughs> all right, we'll get on with it. You, I'll get on right, all right. <laughs> Hello, sir, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's a nice name. Are you, you in any way Irish? No, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrick, uh, do you, I got some information that you'd like to do something on the show tonight, is that right? That's correct. Right, what do you want to do then? Well, uh, before, is there anyone else you'd like to invite up? Yes, I'd like to invite my girlfriend, Jody, up. Come on, Jody, come on over. <laughs> come on, Jody, hey! Hi, Jody. Hi, nice to meet you. I have you, uh, oh, hang on. Sorry, I know you probably thought I had a huge penis, but it's just a microphone <laughs> in my pocket. Uh, hold on to that. Speak into that, would you? Hello. Um, and here, this is to put on it in case... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, um, okay. Get on with it, then. All right. Jody. Would you marry me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go. Uh, uh, go. Have you got the thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you all right? Yeah. Give her a kiss, man. Give her a kiss. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. There you go, kids. Wait there. to you, people who say this is a completely scripted show. <laughs> I wish you kids all the best. Man, I never saw Andy shake that much, ever. <laughs> and, and, and I've been in rehab. <laughs> I, I wish you all the best. I hope you'll be very happy. I, I really do. Thank you. <laughs> I do. I, I think it's lovely, and I think it's lovely that you chose a nice, quiet place for it. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with less romantic crap. The Light Light Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Old Navy. One Day Wonder, a jaw-dropping deal, only at Old Navy. I'm excited at the prospect of free chicken perhaps later. <laughs> what we do is to get the audience to like me, I promise them free chicken, but they're not going to get any. <laughs> it's what we call in show business a lie. <laughs> it's what we do when we are uh, talking out loud. Uh, <laughs> if you're in show business and you're talking, you're lying. I'm lying right now. Are you, Craig? I don't know. Am I? Free chicken, everyone. <laughs> But, guess what? It's a great day for America, everybody. No lie! No lie! It is! A great day for America. It is Friday. It is a great day for the world. For the entire world. Because the World Cup starts today. And now, on behalf of all Americans, let me just say... Eh. <laughs> 
the United States, soccer's popularity ranks somewhere between John Goslin and people who give out raisins at Halloween. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We Americans know that the World Cup is a big deal in other countries, but this is a big weekend here in America too because the Tony Awards are on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Tony Awards in the World Cup are very different, of course. One is a celebration of barely concealed gayness that most Americans won't watch, and the other one is the Tony Awards. So right there. Yuck, yuck. Hey, hey. I think I know one skeleton that will be watching the Tonys this Sunday. <laughs> I think you're very passive-aggressive, Jeff. <laughs> See? Wake me when you're done. <laughs> oh, anyway, then. Oopsie. Oopsie. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about the World Cup. I'm talking about the soccer. I think Ameri the reason Americans don't get into soccer because the scores are low. These, what they should do, I really mean this, they should make each goal worth two points and then maybe let the players use their hands and maybe add some hoops and a basketball. People would watch that. <laughs> the rest of the world, though, is nuts for soccer. It's estimated that one billion people will watch the World Cup. A billion. To give you an idea of how, how many people that is, you take the audience of this show and add one billion. <laughs> you would get one billion people. <laughs> Uh, and everybody gets into the spirit of it in the host country. Like, the, during the last World Cup in Germany, this is true, prostitutes offered the World Cup discount. Really, they did. I, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't there. I don't know what it means. I think maybe 20 bucks off if you promise not to use your hands. Don't, don't. Will we get chicken if we clap? I don't know. Anyway, tomorrow is the first big match of the World Cup. It is the USA versus England. Now, I might actually watch that because I grew up hating England and I would love to see the USA kick some limey ass. I'm over it now. <laughs> the one man who won't be playing tomorrow, though, is David Beckham, who is in injured again. <laughs> David Beckham is English, but he plays in America. The only drama is uh, who he's injured for. I don't know if he's England's injury or America's injury. <laughs> I hope he makes a statement, though, because uh, I, I, I don't really care. I just want to hear him talking. <laughs> David's got a boo-boo. <laughs> I can't... I can't play him. Uh, hurt my leg, put my shoe on. <laughs> I'm the most famous athlete in the world. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Anyway, Beckham, uh, is, he's good looking though. He makes more in endorsements than he does on the field, but I've heard he's got some skeletons in his closet. Have you got a picture of one of Beckham's skeletons? There you are. Right, right, right. Yeah. Look at that. All right, all right. <laughs> Ooh, break me off a piece of that. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, anyway, look, see, when I was growing up, we would play soccer all the time when I was a kid, but we, would, we didn't have any money. I was poor, so we, we would play it with a rusty can. Uh, rusty can and bare feet, which was dangerous. That's the reason why I've only got one toe. But it's a strong toe. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding on right now. I, you know what, what? When you've got only got one toe, your other senses become highly developed. <laughs> my hearing is very good. I can hear the ground rushing up to my face when I fall. <laughs> Don't feel bad for me and my one toe. I, I save a fortune at pedicures. <laughs> Thanks, Korean lady. <laughs>
Oh, right, I'm lying. No, that never happens, too. Anyway, no, when I was a kid, I used to go to soccer games with my uncle Alexander. And, uh, you know, nowadays, soccer in Britain is big business. They've got proper stadiums, big shiny T-shirt gun, people with teeth. But back then, it was, it was bleak back then. And they used to throw the kids over the turnstiles. You know, and some random person inside would have to catch us. But they couldn't use their hands, it was soccer, so they'd have to trap you. <laughs> And I think my uncle used to throw us over to save money, but, uh, uh, but kids got in free. <laughs> I think he was just sticking it to the man, you know. You could never, you couldn't do that here in L.A. You could never throw a kid over a turnstile in L.A. because Brangelina might run in and intercept. He was like, quick, Brad, adopt, go long! <laughs> no, come on now, that's not right. Oh, spontaneous, not chicken-related applause. <laughs> Is any applause really not chicken-related? <laughs> uh, well, guess what? It's time for the commercial break. Um, this is always an awkward moment for me because I have to pretend that I'm okay with it. <laughs> This is the moment where I remember if I was on cable, I could just keep going. <laughs> but now I have to stop for the real business of the evening, selling you stuff. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, great stuff. Hey, listen to me. CBS has a very strict policy. We will only advertise great stuff. It's the crap in between the commercials we don't care about. That's all. <laughs> We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Oh, right Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, let's see. Uh, listen, by the way, if you're thinking of uh, approaching the show in order to propose to each other, don't. Because we're going to uh, see how it works out with these kids over here first. I, I can't be connected to, uh, you know, uh, matrimony any more than I already am. Uh, you know, no, no, don't, don't. Uh, it's not the jumbotron. It's not going to happen, all right? So don't, unless you're really freaky looking. Or hilarious. <laughs> then, then maybe. But don't. Please. Or do. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, I'm very excited about the wedding proposal. Anything else we can do tonight, Jeff? Mr. Ferguson tweets and emails. T I almost forgot. Play the jingle, Jeff. Twitter. Twitter. Tweeting. Tweeting. Ephemeral. Ephemeral. Fleeting. 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 By the way, uh, they tweet me on the Twitter and they say, Hey, Craig, um, what does ass mode mean? And I'm like, you know what it means. <laughs> you know that thing you think, like, there's no way they can mean that? That's what I mean. You're, I know what you're thinking. You're like, he's filthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't applaud that. I'm not proud of it, it's just a fact. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it either. Actually, I'm a bit ashamed of it. Actually, I'm very ashamed of it. But there's nothing I can do. All right then, let's, uh, let's see, here's an email. What have I got here? This is uh, from Ron in London, Ontario, which is in Canada again. Oof. Uh, he says, uh, Dear Craig, I was watching your show and I suddenly had the craving to eat some waffles. Is this appropriate by a late, late show watching behavior? Yeah, if you're high. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, all right, this is from Holly in Bohemia. Bohemia? 
Is that Bohemia in, is like an area in Germany, or is that Bohemia as in a kind of place somewhere where people who are interested in the arts live? <laughs> Bohemians. <laughs> in Bohemia. <laughs> Nervous laugh from people who want chicken but don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what he's talking about. Shut up. <laughs> uh, all right, then. Uh, Holly in Bohemia says, she's probably German then. I'll do it in a German accent just in case. <laughs> Dear Craig, <laughs> if you had to have a nickname like the situation, what would it be? <laughs> the situation is that's the, the kid with the abs, isn't it? On the, uh, the Jersey Shore. I watch that show all the time. <laughs> Um, well, I've, I've already got a nickname, Whiskey Pete. <laughs> um, or maybe my, my nickname would be The Embarrassing Situation. <laughs> uh, oh, the wind in here. Oh, um, okay, uh, this is from Becca in Ohio. Uh, Becca says, uh, will you ever have your little dog Cabbage on the show again? Um, I've got a dog, I've got three dogs, and one of them's called Cabbage. Uh, she's a French bulldog. Uh, I don't care for her, but, uh... <laughs> but, you know, I, you know, like, you don't have relatives, you're, you're kind of like, you know. Well, that's the dog. I get three dogs. I like 60% of the three, three dogs. 66.6%. Jeez. Uh, anyway, um, no, she's not coming back in the show. It's a French bulldog. They're very farty. Also, this is, she's, she's kind of very odd French. She's a very odd bulldog. She's very small, and uh, she has nine nipples and a hernia. <laughs> Actually, she... Ooh, break me off a piece <laughs> of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, maybe. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. stuff happens people get married here well they they propose to each other people propose to each other and she said of course uh, 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 Patrick it, it said will you marry me and then she said of course and now they're divorced <laughs> you know who I blame the internet My first guest is uh, currently outperforming the Rescue Me Comedy Tour uh, 2. It, uh, six, he's on the sixth season of Rescue Me. So the tour is the same name as the show, but it's different. Yeah, I, I'll ask him about it. That's the whole idea of the talk show, I guess. Anyway, that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it. I'm really getting it now. Anyway, the Rescue Me show uh, premieres on June the 29th on uh, FX. And uh, look at this.
Well, you know, we, we can we can get the skeleton now if you want. We can take him. If, if he's giving you a hard time, move I don't like Jeff. You know? No. Oopsie. Yeah, uh, oopsie's right. I think Jeff is trying to steal your thunder. That's what I think. Yeah, well, you may be right. Yeah. Yeah, well, Leary's in the house now, you blue-eyed right. pansy. Think I'm a, you think I'm afraid of a, a skeletal robot? I'm not. <laughs> yeah, see? Shut yeah. you up. You get him, Dennis. I'll wait here. <laughs> the truth is, I, I have so many cousins who look just like Jeff. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys, you know, if we, if we go without eating for a couple of days, we're skinny to start with, and then we look like that. Yeah. yeah. See, I envy you that. Uh, you get, see, I, I tend to... The other my way microphone it, fell out of my ass. Hang on a second. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Is it normal on a talk show for a guy to put a microphone in your ass, or is that like a... <laughs> Is it, is it a tribute to the Vatican week here? Uh, hey, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! 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 Actually, on this show, that's where we put the microphone. Is it actually, really? Okay. I got, I got this one if you're interested. <laughs> I... Uh. <laughs> we can put this on it. Um, okay, yeah. uh, I think I'll stick with the microphone I have. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Please. How are you? Now, wait a minute, Dennis. The, the show is called Rescue Me, and the comedy tour is called Rescue Me, but they're Wait, that different... was a very quick product shot. That was over before oh, it even started. Man, here we go. Hang on, then. Hold on. I'll bring him out. You, the show... <laughs> There's also a Rescue Me uh, poker tour that we're doing. You can really? Play, you can play cards with all the Rescue Me pieces like this. Uh, you can deal them out and stuff. Yeah, yeah there, right, there you go. No, no, no. Uh, the tour... Is um, look at the size of you there, man. You must be working out. That's, oh yeah. <laughs> look at that. Well, I took a lot of steroids. I got bigger yeah. than the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. And, um, and then I went on the desteroidization program, and I came back down to uh, Jeff size. Right. You and know. you uh, did you get your testicles back yet, or are they still? Uh... I've I've got. It's the main reason I never I never did steroids. I like my testicles. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And uh, and I like them where they are. <laughs> I don't want them moving up inside my body. I don't want them smaller. You know what I mean? No, no. Not I, that I, I, I can't take any reduction in my testicles. Yeah. Do you have small testicles? I small testicles. In the, well, they look small because of what they're next to. Right, right. Yeah. That's what they're there. <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah, that's... See, that's that, a there problem. You go. They look out of proportion. They're actually normal size. Well, what, what you need to do is tape that microphone down there over your penis, and then... Hey, this, then you're... This would go over. <laughs> We, you know, it's a, a minute and a half. I know. Already, we stopped I mean, it already. Knock it off. It's uh, so low. So tell me, the, the, the tour is different from the tour or the show. What the, what the hell's going on? Oh, it's so you're so hard hitting questions in journalism here. I, <laughs> That's right. I'm a journalist. You know, when they when they when you have a television show, uh, sometimes they ask you to do these press tours, which is going city to city and pushing the debut of the show. And last year, I said, you know, rather than do that, which can get pretty boring. Yeah. Why don't, I have two other comedians on the show, Adam Ferrara and Lenny Clark, who are both right. really funny. Why don't we go city by city? Knock and, it off. And <laughs> I think you can applaud. No, 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 you, no, 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 no. Excuse me a second. Kiss your chicken goodbye, bastards. I'll buy you tacos. All right. You can applaud all you want, and I'll yeah. buy you free food. Right? Right. Right. You'll still be here when he's gone. <laughs> then I'm going to punish you. And I'm going to punish you with this. With that. Um, I forgot the question. Well, what's happening is, uh, well, let me you're just going say, to the tour. Yeah, we're doing a tour, right. and, uh, so the idea is that by getting, like, you know, uh, 5,000 people into a room and making them laugh their ass off and showing them clips of the upcoming season, they'll, they'll go out and tell all their friends, and we'll have a good time, they'll have a good time, It's so. synergy. Yeah, it, I don't, I'm, yeah. 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 Come on, you've Syner heard that word. Synergy. synergy. Yeah, yeah, you scared me for a second no, with that No, word. No, well, no, no. It's synergy. Synergy. It's yeah, a, you're, you're doing... Now, yeah. do you charge people money to go in and see you, give them clips to go in and see your TV shows? You bet your ass oh, I do. Oh, man. <laughs> see, that, that's why you're rich and I'm stuck in this crap hole. Well, you must have some money by now. You had a book, you have the show. Yeah, I got about 40 bucks. No, you got more than that. 
Yeah, you I got, got more. You got that. some money. Yeah. I got law yeah. money actually. But anyway, part, also <laughs> part of the deal is it, it you know, lets me do stand up again, which I love doing. I, 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 I see. That's how I, I knew you from the stand up. Yeah. Back so I only uh, I only get to do like some charity events that I do every fall as a stand up right. comedian, and I was shooting Rescue Me and making all these crappy movies I made over the years. So this allows me to actually go on a proper tour. And you know, there's nothing like stand up because at uh, eight o'clock no, the show nice. starts and there's no cut and there's no reset. It's just you like and the that, audience. I mean, because this thing we do over and over oh, again. I know. Yeah. 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 It's just, it's like a ride. Yeah, it is. But anyway, this, this is like, yeah, this is like a ride. <laughs> Listen, you have a good gig going on I here. I know. I just, I'm just. Can I ask you a question? Where else is a 53-year-old man from? 53. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? 48. Oh, okay. All right, a 48-year-old man from Scotland. Right. With, with really no expertise except in the areas of probably what drinking and carousing. Yeah. Where else? Is Actually, he... I'm not so good at drinking anymore. Just carousing. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Just the carousing. Yeah. So where else are you going to get paid to stand in front of an audience like this with a couple of puppets on your hand and and stick them in front of the camera and do funny bits? Church. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so. So church in here, really. <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty good gig. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm knocking it, but I, I love it. It's great. Yeah, I, and you're I really good at it. Yeah, I enjoy I got to tell you something, man. Well, you know, I, I've told you this a million times before. I don't get to watch the show every single night, but I get to see it quite a bit. That The ra the new rabbit character. Oh, you like the oh rabbit? Yeah, I love no, the rabbit. I love the rabbit. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa. The rabbit Don't is think great. I'm for, I, I haven't forgotten about the taco chicken exchange. You're done. <laughs> that rabbit, man. That rabbit is great. Yeah, I like the rabbit. rabbit. I like see cute things that say swear words. That's where the money is. Well, probably. you know that. The part of it that I really like, and I appreciate as a comedian, is that you're, I know that it's you off camera with a puppet or sock, a glorified sock on right. your hand, and I know that you're kind of improvising, and so while you're doing it, I'm thinking, this is a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Do you, do you see the puppet and then come up with a voice, or do you imagine a puppet character and have it's it? It's kind of all at the same time. There's a big box in the mirror. Oh, and, oh I see. Uh, yeah, we could, we could actually, we have to take a break. But what we could do is, afterwards, we could just, like, take a quick commercial break, and then you come, and I come back, and we'll do a quick puppet show. Oh, my God, I love that. All right. Glittery glean, I'm gay. I didn't know you were in a glittery glean. What's a glittery glean? Well, you've got very poppy eyes. You, are you on steroids? I'm just looking for your testicles. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's fun. Fun. yeah, yeah. Listen, wanna, man. Yeah, you can see your hand. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah, well, you're here now. No, man. I changed my mind. Well, well, well. I'm looking at you and you all white and fluffy and. Yeah. I think I won't. <laughs> Come here, man. Oh, hold on. Come on, man. I just have to go and put something on. <laughs> Is that thing from the microphone? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, all right, we have to go. Uh, come and sit down. <laughs> all right, come on. <laughs> all right. Wow. See? And I see you can hang on to that if you want. Wow, that was kind of and fun. That's, welcome back, everybody. That was, uh, you're welcome, children. Now... I don't know why my guy ended up being kind of a black guy who was a gay iguana, but it was kind of fun. Yeah, see, that's how it works. You just, you, you turn on the camera and you just do it right there and then you're perfectly capable as you showed. Okay. Except that one part where I showed my hand, but that's okay, I'll no, work on that. Yeah, well, so I got to come up with a name for my character. What about Liza? <laughs> I like it, Liza 
The uh, the gay iguana. The, the gay iguana, yeah. The gay big pimp and iguana. Yeah, All I right. like it. I like this as well. Yeah, see. <laughs> All right, then. I, I, um, I, I so didn't... you're going on the Rescue Me comedy tour with a. Uh, uh, yeah, are we supposed to pick up where we left off? No. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to drink. Um, I don't know why for all of a sudden I thought this show was going to actually be kind of like uh, make sense. Nah, no. No. Nah. Okay. Now listen, uh, you met Lisa backstage, the yes, makeup I did. girl, and she's from Dublin, Ireland, and yes. she said you've got to stop drinking that Protestant Bushmill whiskey on the show. Cause well, I don't, I don't drink anything anymore. Well, yeah. Right. I, I gave it all up. Oh, you did? Yeah. Unfortunately, just in time to find out the kids have invented vodka eyeballing. Have you seen this? No. Yeah. What's that? You don't know about vodka eyeballing? No, but I'm interested. Do you guys know about this? Yeah, a few... Uh, there's a few people out there. Apparently, college kids in America. It started in the UK, actually. Oh, surprise. college kids started yeah. pouring. They started pouring vodka into their eyeballs because it gets you drunk faster. Now, yeah. Now, first of all, how fast you need to get drunk? Well, yeah. Well, my, my thing is, first of all, if you're if you're thinking that you have to pour vodka into your eyeball, I think you've had enough to drink. Right. Already, that's right. right? Yeah, yeah. Second of all, I think I actually invented this, but it was by accident about 35 <laughs> years ago when I was so. <laughs> I was so drunk, I was missing my mouth. You know what I mean? I did invented vodka eyeballing, vodka nosing, earring. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, vodka eyeball. Really? Do they take eye droppers? No. The, the they just pour are, the vodka they right pour in their it into their eyes. Now the thing is, of course, as you can imagine, there's going to be some vicious side effects. And I'm no eye doctor, but yeah. apparently some kids have blinded themselves. And sure, yeah, it's so, dangerous. Yeah, I'm and not stupid. really. Unless I was Stevie Wonder to begin with, I wouldn't do the eye. Yeah, vodka no. Eye vodka, yeah. You know. That's really bad. I know. It's, See, when I think of it now, I was actually I wasn't that bad. Well, according to you, you're pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. I, I, I just mean, think I wasn't that bad because I didn't pour a book but, but, on my yeah, eye. But that's my thing. But that's my thing, right? Here's my thing, right? right well. Now, let's say, we're talking about alcohol, but it could be any uh, illegal substance. Like, right. really, I never, ever thought to myself, whether it was vodka or expensive whiskey or whatever, like, okay, I'm not getting enough in my mouth. It's not working fast enough. I've got to go in another part of my body. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> It never occurred to me, not even as a party trick. Hey, hey. watch me pour this vodka in my eyeball. Yeah, no, no, that's you know? true. I never so, thought. Because the I kind of girl you're going to impress with that is not a girl you really want to take home with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love the way you put that uh, vodka in your eyeball. Let's oh. go back to my place. He poured vodka in his eyeball. Yeah, 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 he's exactly. going to pop the question. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I so I don't get it on any level. No, it doesn't work you know? for me. We are out of time, Dennis. We are? Yeah, we shouldn't have uh -oh. run with a puppet cycle. So <laughs> but I, I got to tell you, I, it, I, I hope I didn't screw it up, but that was one of my dreams come true. What, did the puppet thing? Yeah. yeah. You were awesome, man. I was okay? Oh, great. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, yeah. Is I, I saw him headlining at the place he's going to be headlining uh, on June the 30th at the Comedy Works, which is one of the best comedy clubs in, in the country, in Denver. Please welcome Hippie Man, everybody. Hippie Man. Hippie Man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You know, I am feeling really good tonight because I took some pills I found on the bus on the way down here. <laughs> It's part of my health care plan. Find a pill, take it, and see what the hell that does. You know, so. I like the way I feel, but there are side effects to my hair. So anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit tonight about President Obama. You know, he has been bailing out everybody. I'm like, where in the hell is my economic stimulus plan? You know, because I have been spending irresponsibly for years, man. I don't need 700 billion either, 35 grand, and I am back down to square one. You know? Make it 40 and I'll get my weird eye fixed. Because I, I do. I have a crazy ass eye that goes this way, and this eye is straight, you know? And I'm not saying this eye is gay, but this eye is straight. <laughs> this eye wants to marry some other guy's eye. I'm like, you cannot do that here. The voters said no, so it's no go. But, uh, but you know, times are tough economically. They really are. And I've been a stand-up comic for many years, and uh, I finally have a day job. I have a paper route. Uh, <laughs> once a week, I deliver zigzags to all of my friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll tell you. Oh, thank you. I'll tell you, after a couple stops on that route, you don't care if the papers are hitting the porch anymore. And, 
With this eye, I can't tell anyway, you know. <laughs> But you know this is, this is a medicinal marijuana state, and I guess that's good, but I don't see what the big deal is about medicinal marijuana, you know? I have been using the generic equivalent for years. <laughs> I like a way better than ibuprofen, I can tell you that. But... <laughs> and if marijuana is considered a medicine, then I think alcohol should be too, because I cannot tell you how many times I've cleansed my colon with cheap beer and whiskey, but a lot. You know? <laughs> and it was religious too, because I prayed a lot that night. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I read in the newspaper where another sixth grade teacher seduced a student. I'm thinking, where were those teachers when I was in school? <laughs> My sixth grade teacher was this fat 70-year-old woman named Mrs. Fraker, and uh, I banged her anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> I got a C- minus that semester. I'm like, what do you have to do to get an A in this class? <laughs> Once I found out, I'm like, hey, I'll take the C minus. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That's how I became a vegetarian, but uh, that's a different joke. I, <laughs> I am a vegetarian. I am a vegetarian. I'm lacto ovo, which makes it sound like I want to be spanked by a large German woman. <laughs> and I do, but that's not what it means. So. If there's any large German women here, I've been very bad, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna need some strudel and a firm paddling, but, uh, but you know, even though I am a vegetarian, I believe in animal testing, although I do it at home. <laughs> I'll tell you, my cat does not know a damn thing about the Civil War. <laughs> I'm like, blue or gray, Tabby, come on. And I do, I travel all over the country, you know, uh, doing stand-up comedy, and it's a good life. And I drive a lot late at night, and I get pulled over by cops all the time, man, because they see me, and they're like, hey, let's follow Einstein and see what the hell he's up to, you know? <laughs> and I, yeah, believe me, people call me Einstein all the time, but, uh, but I don't drink and drive, and I have to go through those sobriety checkpoints, you know, so uh, they always let me go, and then what I do is circle around the block and go through it again. You know? I'm like, <laughs> Hey, I think I can beat my best time. Uh, that, yeah, that pisses them off, but they let you go because they're busy. And uh, then I borrow someone else's car and go through again. <laughs> like, weren't you here before? And I go, no, that was me of a stepbrother, and he was wasted, and he fooled you guys. And that's when they'll haul your ass in, I'll tell you. Well, finally tonight, I wanted to mention that I am from Boulder, Colorado, which is a really good place to be if you're a hippie like me, and it's a very progressive uh, city, you know? And my ex-wife still lives in Boulder, and um, she is so eco-friendly that her vibrator is a hybrid, <laughs> and it runs on bitterness and ethanol. So, thank you very much, you guys. Take care. Thank you. I know what you're thinking. Craig, why are you using uh, uh, non-advertising cleaning fluid on your hands? Because I'm meeting a lot of people tonight. Look, there's a lot of people from the audience come out. There's uh, Patrick, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Jody. Jody, Patrick and Jody, who are getting married. A dude who's wearing a suit and sneakers. <laughs> uh, and uh, two kids at the end. Uh, hey, kids at the end. Uh, you didn't, can you hand that to them? Right, don't say anything. I just wanted it to be over there. <laughs> Now, what I want you to realize, everybody at home, that these good Americans here... You, are you all Americans? Yes. yes. <laughs> Anybody here going to be watching the World Cup? No. Yes. You are? Yeah, apparently what? I will be too. Oh! Uh-oh, trouble in paradise. <laughs> where are you going to... Um, I'll get to you guys. Probably not, but when, when um, what, where, where are you going to live? We're going to live in Palmdale, <laughs> California. Yeah, I know where it is, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just over the back there. Yep. Yeah. You're going to live in Palmdale, and uh, what are you going to do there? Are you going to have babies? <laughs> Maybe someday. I already have two, so. All right, so you'll have more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's, well, you can't do it in his own, girl. <laughs> that's why... Things are going to change. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
look, I just want to announce that we're all moving into a house together. Uh, and it's going to be a sitcom on CBS called um, The Hendersons. Uh, I play Dad. Oh, you kids. And who you played? Wacky Neighbor? Wacky Neighbor. Wacky Neighbor. What's your name, sir? Spaz. <laughs> What's your name at the end, kids? Use the microphone. Uh, my name's Frank. I'm Jennifer. You guys a couple? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to ask her anything? <laughs> Jen? <laughs> yes? Uh, will, will you marry me uh, later, a uh, couple years from now, when we're not on national television? Dude, don't qualify it. Either ask her or don't ask her. All right, well, we'll figure it out. Good night, everybody. Say, say good night.